Hello. Welcome again to Lincoln Park Library's Tech To Go, the program where we provide kids with tech crafts that you take to go. If you've not picked up a kit, come by the Lincoln Park Library and pick one up. And then look this video up and follow the directions to find out what you can do to create a light up creature. That is our project for today. Let's see what's in the kit. Ah, a craft stick. Copper tape. A clothes pin. One three volt battery. A pair of googly eyes. No googly creatures were harmed in the creation of these kits. The eyes are probably organic or something, I don't know. Artificial. And lastly, an LED light. This one is blue. That's what's in the kit. Now let's see what other supplies you will need to provide. One, a glue stick. Small bottle of plain Elmer's glue would also work well. Some regular scotch tape. And a pair of scissors. Now, Let's put it all together. For starters, I'm going to take my copper tape and I'm going to cut off about an inch. I want to take that inch and set it aside for later. That will be important in later steps. The rest of it I'm going to cut just about in half for now, and that's going to give me two uh, fairly even strips. These are what we're going to use to create our circuit. The thing that you need to know about the copper tape is that the top of the copper tape is very conductive. Copper is one of the most conductive metals uh, that we have access to. Uh, the bottom, however, of the copper tape, you can see it's got sort of a white backing to it, and on the other side of that backing is, of course, some adhesive, which is what makes it copper tape. That adhesive will get in the way of the conductivity of the copper, so we want to make sure that when we're building our circuit, the prongs and the batteries uh, are all going to be touching the top side of the copper tape. And that is why we are going to place it exactly the way we are going to place it on our clothespin. So now we're going to take our clothespin and we're going to arrange the tape to build a circuit that will light up our creature's nose. So what I'm going to do, and I'll let you kind of just move that outside so you can see. I'm taping it down here, but I'm taping it a little bit at an angle. And I want just a, just about a, like a half an inch, maybe a little bit more than a half an inch, uh, to come up onto the bottom side of the clothespin handle. The reason that I want to do it this way is because I want to snake it up so that it can touch the top. So it's going to climb. We're going to, we're going to, let it run this way and the electricity is going to follow the path that we are making here. So we want the electricity to go down the bottom, up the side here, and we are actually going to tape right up here onto the ridge so that the tape... All right, moves right up there. The second piece of copper tape it's much easier. This one I'm 
This one's got a much straight, straighter path. Uh, it's just going to go right here, just like that, from about the top front of the clothespin to the pinchy side of the clothespin, uh, starting from there and moving back down toward the handle. And then it's just going to wrap around here. I'm going to just snip the excess. Okay, and now we have created a circuit out of the copper tape uh, that's going to run down underneath and then up to the inside top and then one that runs over the top just like that. The next step is going to be to attach our battery. Our battery has a positive side and a negative side. The positive side is kind of smooth and it's got a plus sign on it as well as the battery information. The negative side has just this textured side here. So the positive side of the battery is going to correspond to the longer prong on our LED light. So you can see that this prong is slightly longer than this prong. And when we touch it to our battery just the right way, that's going to light right up. If we switch it over so that the short prong is on the positive side, you'll see it's not going to work that way. This is a, this is a one way circuit here. It's only gonna travel uh, through the light if we put it, if we correspond the long prong to the positive side. So we wanna make sure that we're doing exactly that. All right, so now I'm going to attach my battery. I've put my tape just on the edge of the battery and I have the negative side up. I want the positive side to be down because the longer prong I would like to be able to reach underneath into the mouth so that the shorter one doesn't have as far to travel there. What we're going to do, we wanna make sure that, that we have a good point of contact. It's a good idea to figure out where the battery is gonna make contact with that copper tape and make sure that it's, it's got a good contact point there. So that's what we're gonna do. Oops. Gonna set that on there just like so. And I'm going to wrap, wrap this battery, so that, or wrap the tape around the battery so that, uh, so that we can kind of attach it on there. All right. We can tighten that up so that it looks a little less awkward, but for now, let's just see if this works. All right, so we have our LED light. The longer prong is going to go onto the bottom because that's where the positive side of my battery is right here. The shorter side is going to go onto the shorter side here. If this works, just like that. Uh, all right, excellent. So now we can go ahead. You can see what I've done is I've just pinched the LED light right onto the very top and so that gives me, my creature, a sort of a jaw and a light up nose so that uh, we're going to call my creature uh, Esteban. This is Esteban, my clothespin creature. Uh, and you know, if ever I had to, you know, ride a magical sleigh through a, a blizzard or a foggy night or something, uh, I could let Esteban light my way. See, there you go with his uh, nose so bright. There we go. Excellent. So now, we want to secure those prongs so that we've got a really good, solid connection. Uh, remember that piece of copper tape that we, we took off just about an inch? We're going to cut that right in half. And this is what we want to do. We're going to use that copper tape to just secure those prongs down onto the tape that is uh, creating our circuit. So I'm going to peel the back off of this tiny little piece of copper tape go because I just don't have a lot of fingernails to get down in there even if I did it'd be tricky to get those started that copper tape is very very thin very fine so peeling that right off and I'm going to secure this one as well I don't want to connect my circuits. I want the electricity to have to flow through the light. So let's be careful not to let these touch. Probably won't be too big a deal because the adhesive is going to block some of that circuitry anyway. Uh, but just to be safe, I'm going to try to keep these from touching too much. Make sure that my copper tape is not touching. Let's see if we can get a good light up effect just like that. Ooh. 
Oh yeah, now it wants to light up a lot. Perfect. All right. And now what you may ask? Well, now that we've created the circuit, we can get to the fun part. And that's decorating our creature and just giving it a little personality. So I'm going to take this and uh, give Esteban some blue antennae. I could make them antlers too, but you know, this is my version of the story. And Esteban is a magical mosquito or something. I don't know. There we go. Well done, Esteban. We can have, there we go. Excellent antenna. And of course, googly eyes. This is an important part of the process. Not googly eyes. Esteban's just not going to have much personality. There's just not going to be any character there. So these are important. I'm going to glue those on there. Just get a good thick amount of glue. Of course, these are plasticky bits here. All right. Once that glue dries, then Esteban will be complete. You've seen how to create a light up creature with some simple household supplies. If you aren't able to pick up a kit from the Lincoln Park Library, uh, you can pick up a lot of these supplies for not a lot of money and build your own kit. All you need is some copper tape, a three volt battery, a craft stick here, clothespin, and uh, a small LED light, and of course, some googly eyes. All right, let's take a look at it in the dark. Live Esteban! Live! Thank you so much. Join us next time for Lincoln Park's Tech to Go!